John Asher here. Right. Asher Media, what's going on? Oh, not much. Uh, I'm prepping, going to Kenya Music Week as of tomorrow, down in Toronto. Okay. And just came back from Ottawa yesterday. Um, keep it busy, and I'm working with uh, my band, promoting them with the, uh, and all that stuff. So you got quite a bit of bands now you're representing, huh? Uh, yeah, I'm working with, uh, well, I work with now Reversed Records out of Vancouver, and I work with uh, Special Ops out of Montreal, and uh, one out of Montreal, and uh, yeah, just uh, promoting their albums and their tours, taking care of the media stuff, all that, the radio and print, so online, etc. Well, that's good. Some of the bands of, that I've been playing on my radio show that you uh, represent is like Quo Vetus. You still uh, do work with them? Oh, yeah. No, uh, Quo Vetus, I work for tour stuff. Right? Okay. They've been on like hiatus right now uh, for the album. They've just been working on that album. Okay. They've been doing some show dates from time to time. Surefire Machine, uh, I played yeah, them quite Shorefire a bit. Yeah, Surefire Machine's also, they're working on the second album right now, too. They, uh, they did the, that publicity stunt with the skydiving tattoo over the summer. And uh, they finished up that tour, and now they're just recording that second album. And uh, Omega Chrome. Yeah, those guys. Those are um, they're 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 hitting the road as of uh, Thursday for their um, Blood, Steel, and Fire tour to promote the the, the same album, same titled album. And uh, yeah, they're on Reversed Records. They're like uh, Judas Priest on steroids. Yeah, I We've heard. Uh, classified them as uh, ripping metal. So basically, so. these guys gonna take over the world soon. You know, the, the one of the one of the magazines just said that they were uh, Canadian ripping metal juggernauts, <laughs> and uh, to prepare for a metal revolution. So I was really happy when I heard that. That is. So a I think those guys are going to do really good on the road in Canada, and then hopefully get them into the states and Europe. Special Ops, you've been uh, doing a lot of work with them for a little while. Got their CD too. Yeah, Special Ops have been uh, promoting for a really long time. I've been with them since the second album came out. And, uh, yeah, I've been promoting uh, the recent releases through the Heart of the Infidel. And uh, those guys are working hard, getting ready for their uh, upcoming uh, tour dates in uh, Canada and the States for the for the springtime, kicking off at the end of April. So, so yeah, good, good Canadian uh, talent coming out of Montreal and Vancouver and Toronto. So it's been a great pleasure to push them out there, right? How many uh, bands are you looking for? Do you still look for uh, new artists? So uh, yeah, the I team? look for. I'm always looking for new artists from time to time. Always, uh, you know, um, they gotta catch me. They just gotta catch my eye. I'm usually out there scouting live. Okay. When I see them, and uh, and then I like to listen to the album, of course, and just see if everything's there. Um, you know, they gotta be an active artist. They gotta be like promoting their album. They gotta be ready to hit the road. Um, and just push it, you know, always be busy. Your publicist should always be your number one fan. But that and is really well said. management and everything else. So, so that's what I'm always looking for. I'm always looking for that, that band that's going to make me their number one fan. And all these bands, I'm sure you're their number one fan then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I work hard, hard and long hours just because I love them way too much. Uh, you know, I just want to see them succeed. So I'm always just pushing, pushing, pushing. I checked out your portfolio on your website at AsherMediaRelations.com, and it's, uh, it was on a Canada.com uh, website interview, and you're a guitarist? Uh, yeah, I did an interview with the, the Gazette here in Montreal, and I've done some interviews with a couple of others. So, yeah, they did a story on me just being a, an entrepreneur and just building my company and uh, all that stuff. So. so you basically build this company from scratch. Uh, yeah, I I pretty much said, hey, um, I'm just going to go for it. So I built up the business, and uh, it's been going really well, you know, um, building up business relationships with everybody and just, um, you know, getting everybody to open their doors and hearing the talent that I throw at them. And, and yeah, so it's grown really well. Do you find that today, let's say with the internet, it makes it easier for your type of work, or is it harder because there's more competition now available? Um, it's, yeah, it's Catch-22. It's got its good and it's bad. Um, the digital age has helped because it gets the message out there, like Twitter and Facebook and MySpace are still really, really excellent in, uh, 
in getting the message out to the fans and to the media guys super quickly. Um, but it's also killed, like, you know, people download the albums illegally and all that stuff. But I'm a real fan of the digital uh, digital stuff because it just saves time, gets it out there quicker. But it's also, you know, it's still saturated. You're competing with tons of others. There's, you know, for every other band, I like, for example, every band I promote to an editor or a radio guy, there's a hundred of me every other every day too. Right. So it's still, you know, it's still competing. So, and I think it just comes down to relationships too with everybody. And do you, do you find that YouTube is a, is a good way of promoting a group now, like with music videos and stuff like that? Yes, definitely. I think video blogging and video too. Because, um, you know, people's attention spans are are still short. Um, they did studies and they said two minutes is the attention span for people to read on on email and on the websites. And video is a little bit longer. People have attention spans to about three to five minutes. So, you know, video helps. And it gives it more visual. I've always found visual a visual aid will always help out, right? So I'm a, I'm a fan of video blogging, YouTube and video sites. The mind is not going to read that long. Look how it took to read the newspaper back in the day, and now you got more news and the people aren't even reading it in a sense. Yeah, it, it you know, it's get, get you got to it's it's coming down to like you got to have a great story and you got to keep people's attention. You got to catch them. You know, give them something really interesting to read about, keep it unique. I look for that in the band, like what makes you different from everybody else and all that, they, you know, you got to set yourself outside the box, be really different. When Surefire did their skydiving tattoo stunt, that was really outside the box to get attention, and and it worked. It really worked for them. So can you explain that? They're getting a tattoo while they're skydiving? So, uh, summer, um, Surefire Machine was on their Sinning and Grinning tour, and to promote the tour and the album, they um, decided to do a publicity stunt where Zeke, their guitar player, was going to uh, jump out of a plane out in Edmonton, where they had a tour date, and he would jump out and get a, sky, uh, and get a tattoo at the same time as he's skydiving. <laughs> and what we did was uh, they filmed it, and then once I got the filming, uh, the video and stuff, we promoted it out to all the media. It ended up in a, a bunch of newspapers and national TV. It ended up even in Sweden on their, on their news channels. And, uh, yeah, it was. Gr it just ended up as promo and image awareness for the band. People were knowing who Surefire Machine were, first from the skydiving tattoo, and then in relation to you want them to hear your music and then see you on the tour and all that. So it was, it was, just, it was just great promo, um, just, just creating publicity stunts or something that'll, uh, that'll uh, get you attention. That's a big publicity stunt, you know? Hasn't yeah, been done was, before. It was a great one. Like, to, to this day, um, Zeke walks into bars and walks into venues, and people just want to see the tattoo. It's funny, because Zeke's in Montreal for a bit right now recording, and he was at a bar, and um, Mikey from Priestess was here. Right. And Zeke told me that Mikey came up to him and was like, hey, dude, I want to see your tattoo. Where's this crazy tattoo I heard about? So... You know, it wor it works everywhere is going. The tattoo is, you know, it it's it's gone with the name Surefire Machine, so so it's pretty cool. You guys have got more tours coming up in Europe and stuff, or is it uh, mostly Canada? And, uh, ha mostly and how Canada is the Canada right scene doing? Um, mostly Canada, like Omega Crom's doing Vancouver to uh, Montreal and then back. All right. Special Ops are doing Canada and the States, and then hopefully, you know. Still negotiating the, the tours for Europe and maybe some South America stuff, and uh, you know, it's sometimes these things take time to negotiate with promoters and management and etc. So, how do you find the Canadian scene now? You know what? Um, I find the Canadian metal scene is strong. Um, okay. A lot of talent out of Montreal, a lot of talent out of here, um, and I've been to other cities and they got strong metal community. Ottawa's got a great metal community and so does Toronto. Uh, I haven't been to Vancouver yet, but I hear Vancouver's uh, really got a great metal scene too, and a lot of great talent coming out of Vancouver. So um, I, think, uh, I think people really respect Canadian metal a lot, especially in Europe. I think the Europeans really like Canadian metal. 
So basically, John, how would you um, describe your type of work? You know, waking up to the morning and finishing at night. Is it constant work as well, a publicist and stuff? Um, I'm like a. There's different titles you can call me: publicist, media broker, press agent. But um, usually my days end up, you know, first thing is emails, checking replies, interview requests, and filling those in, and making sure that the magazines get the proper press photos. Um, my days can range from writing news releases for the media, sending out packages, the albums, the physicals, um, you know, negotiating how, how, who's going to be doing the interview, what time, et cetera, like that, um, how, if it's going to be an exclusive, um, so it's stuff like that, and contests, setting up promotional contests. So there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the day. Today I ended up just sell, uh, sending out over 100 packages of Omega Chrome stuff to radio and print mags and website guys so they can review the album. That was like their request. Some guys asked for it digitally, some asked for it physically, so you just got to fill the demand. And, you know, you got to write up the material, the media kit, the the press release for the tour, you know, recommend some tracks right. and all that stuff. So, you know, the days the days are never the same though. The same every day is different. So it's a pretty interesting job. And then when I, I sometimes hit the road too with the band. So I was in Ottawa for a TV performance for Special Ops over the weekend, and then came back to Montreal for a bit to do some office work, and then I hit the road again for Toronto's Canadian Music Week. So. It's pretty interesting stuff. You know, I, I say it's um, I say it's like I'm in the band, but uh, the only difference is uh, I'm not on the stage performing. So it's pretty good. Let's say a band uh, that you're representing are filming live on, you know, t broadcast TV. Do you acquire a copy of these to use oh, as yes, promotion? Oh yes, definitely. Yeah. I always always get a cop. That's part of my job description too. I gotta I gotta get copies of everything. Everything from radio interviews to TV performances to the album reviews, I have to get copies of that to add it to the portfolio and the media kit for the, for the artists. So um, that's definitely, you know, one of the important parts of the job is just to have everything on record because, you know, you got to show it to management, you got to show it to the labels, distributors even want to see it, album reviews are important, all that stuff, so. Sounds like a big job you got going on. Yeah, yeah, no, it's time consuming. But I love it. Like the when you work for yourself, um, the hours go by quickly. Right. Uh, I come in. I come in the morning and I leave late at night, and it's just the way it goes. And I don't mind because it's uh, something I really like doing. So it's been a lot of fun. So basically, what you're going to be doing for the next uh, until this summer, let's say, or the end of this year, you're going to be promoting a lot of um, acts. As of now, I have. Well, I'm working on Mega Chrome right now. I'm working the tour and the album, pushing that. Special Ops, I'm working on their tour, promote, getting ready to promote that tour. Um, you know, I have uh, other clients. i got to prepare some stuff. I have uh, other artists I'm going to start working with in April and May already, so i got to prep for that. And, uh, yeah, it's ongoing. It's, it's ongoing. It's really sometimes hard to even go on vacation. So Sometimes the best at, at their jobs can't take vacations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh it's, uh, I always have my BlackBerry on. It's really funny. Yeah, I see uh, that. I would say, uh, I, I guess you can call me a crackberry addict. Uh, I find, like, as in the music industry, you've got to be on top of everything. So if somebody asks you a question, you should reply to them immediately, not wait till the, the next day, you know? Yeah, I know, definitely. You know, people people email you because they need information, and, you know, you, got, you should get them information as soon as possible. You shouldn't make people wait. I like that belief. It's a good system to yeah. work with. Yeah. I think it's, it's, you know, that's how all businesses should work. They should work with uh, being on time and on top of everything.